Sri Lanka possesses one of the top 10 richest biodiversities in the world, with its Buddhist communities living in harmony with its environment and nature. But urban encroachment, deforestation and poaching is threatening one of its natural jewels, the leopard, which is now threatened across the range of all its habitats. It is listed as critically endangered by the IUCN. Earth Ambassador Anjali is Sri Lankan and passionate about saving the leopard. Together with her partner Andrew, whom she met while studying in Canada, she is committed to developing and implementing strategies to protect and restore the jungle corridors these creatures need to survive and prosper. Um, they're both highly, highly intelligent, highly educated, um, concerned individuals. They could both command really high wages on the international, the global conservation education uh, world, but they don't. They want to stay in Sri Lanka and stop the Sri Lankan leopard from becoming extinct. They worked a lot in the south um, of the island in Yala National Park with leopards and now they're focusing on the hill country around Kandy. Currently they are carrying out baseline research to establish the leopard populations in the hill country beyond Kandy. A vast expanse of tea plantations, many of which are now in serious decline. And um, with urban, urban development around Kandy and around other neighbourhoods, other villages and towns in the hill countries, the leopards are increasingly being pushed into smaller and smaller uh, areas um, of remaining jungle, to the point where it's, it's doubtful whether they could actually survive, whether the ranges that are left, the ranges left are big enough for them to survive. At the same time, they are lobbying local government officials to consider the leopard when making plans for new and expanded settlements and collaborating with local schools and communities on educational awareness programs. They, they need help in getting more night vision cameras to help in the collecting more data. They're, they're nocturnal animals and without the night cameras you can't really uh, track them or, or find how many there are. Beyond that, the, the core goal is to establish uh, corridors between the plantations and um, between the existing jungle patches so that the lepers can move freely without coming into contact with humans. The villagers understandably get concerned when lepers walk into their villages. It's best to create corridors um, linking jungles where their habitats are and, and give them the range they need to, to breed and, and prosper. And that's quite a simple uh, process at the moment because tea, tea is falling in uh, in value. The tea plantations, a lot are uh, falling into disrepair. It's a lot of um, loss of um, um, soil as a result of uh, plantations starting to, to, fall, to, to deteriorate. And therefore it's quite cheap to buy these plantations up. It'd be quite an easy process to, to, to buy up all plantations, let them revert back to jungle, a process that takes less than 100 years, and restore the habitat habitat of the leopard. That being done, that, that's, um, that species is brought back from being critically endangered to being viable again. Anjali and Andrew are brave and courageous individuals and they have the intelligence, drive and political capacity to save the Sri Lankan leopard. Help them.